Okay, let's come in and have an inside tour. I am sorry <laughs> for the mess, but we are renovating the main house, and this has been used, obviously, as our area to collect all of the equipment and things we're using for the rehab, so I apologize. But anyway, this building was moved here. We uh, had planned on renting it out, but we really need to have a garage in this location, so we're going to have to sell it. And um, when you move a building like this, it uh, does suffer a little bit of changes, such as the sheetrock gets some cracks in it, and that's because this is a house. It's not a mobile home. Mobile homes don't have sheetrock from the factory they have wallboard so anyway um, our contractor can repair the cracked um, sheetrock once it's at your location so I just wanted to give you a good tour so you can see for yourself what we have here first of all the floor here is luxury vinyl tile which is great very durable and we have that throughout Okay, um, the, the portion in the front buckled a little bit during the move, and that's fine. Um, our contractor has said all we need to do is pull up this portion and lay it back down. So um, that's an easy fix. The um, wood paneling came loose during the move. That's also um, an easy fix. But it does give me an opportunity to show you that it's, insulated you can see that so this is what I consider the main living area there are a lot of things you can do with this building but if you're looking at it for a tiny home I would use this for the main living area which is really very spacious and the ceilings are higher I guess I should measure those so I could tell you how high they are um, but they um, they have sort of a little design because they're it's up a little bit higher, um, you know, not just flat. It's kind of like a um, not a cathedral ceiling, but I don't know what the right terminology would be to describe that um, because of the barn shape of the house. That's where the shape of the ceiling comes in. So there's strip lighting there and a recessed light and a ceiling fan over here. So I'll tell you what our thoughts were that we were planning on doing is we were planning on putting the kitchen there. You see where the top of that china cabinet is? You could do so many things, but um, I would do a kitchen beginning with that wall and coming over to the wall on the left. Put your um, stove with a microwave above it, a refrigerator, and I would do a sink on that wall because you have plumbing on the other side from the bathroom. You could do a small um, like island put where you could have pull-up seating it could be quite spacious and quite nice, very nice layout. That's, uh, that, that was what we had planned. Now, you also have an additional corner over here that could be used for anything from a laundry room to a large closet. You could even make it an office work area. It's, uh, it's pretty spacious. Or tiny home <laughs> and then straight back in the back is the bedroom and it's really a good size bedroom um, I'd say this is a very normal size bedroom has the um, electrical panel in here you do have a ceiling fan with a light now the bedroom does not have a built-in closet we were going to use uh, armoires, but if you want a closet, you could easily build one. See the depth of that window there? 
you could come right off of there and put your sheetrock up and build a closet if you wanted one. You could even do two if you wanted it. But, um, you know, if you wanted a traditional closet, that was that's something you could do. Okay, and then what I believe is a beautiful bathroom is in here. It has a vessel sink, and we have the faucet for that. Toilet with a cab storage cabinet. This is a decent size wall if you want to put another shelf or some other kind of cabinet. I, I love to um, find interesting pieces of furniture, so there, there's room here if you want it. And then here is the bathtub. That's the mirror that goes above the sink. And this is a nice um, tall faucet that's to be installed on the outside of the tub. And this is a beautiful freestanding tub. Nice soaking tub. If you did not want a tub, that is not a problem either because all you need to do is install a, um, well, actually, you can buy the whole unit, like at Home Depot, if you wanted a whatever size shower you wanted. But it, you could just get a shower pan and install a shower here instead of the tub. And um, there's the light fixture for the bathroom. The ceiling has not been painted yet in here, so it still needs to be painted. And it does have two recessed lights in here. So you've got all your lighting done. It just it just needs the, the kitchen components added, which again, I would do on this wall because you have the um, plumbing on the other side of the wall, which makes it pretty easy to put that in. If you don't have someone to finish this out according to your specific needs and wants, we can do that. Um, so we can discuss with you what you'd like to do and put together a plan. Or you may be handy or have someone handy that can do it for you. But this is a very nice floor plan, very open. And, you know... <laughs> My husband even said you could put another bedroom over here, and you could if you wanted to have a real small bedroom. You could make it a, a two-bedroom, one-bath. But if you just want a nice, enjoyable, large space with an open concept to the kitchen, make yourself a small island with a pull-up seating there would be fantastic. It's got nice light in here. Got good windows. So it's just ready to be customized for you according to what you'd like to use it for. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you.